We're Jill and Hannah. Last year, we quit our jobs, sold everything we owned, and moved out of our apartment in Nashville, Tennessee. Now, we're setting off on a journey to travel the world for as long as we possibly can. Today, we're visiting Changchil Elephant Sanctuary in Chiang Mai, Thailand, where we will hike out into the jungle to find the elephants, and then prepare a tasty snack for them to eat. Ellie day, Ellie day, Ellie day, Ellie day, elephants! Waking up early is hard, but it's worth it when you know you're gonna go see elephants. We say that now. I was not happy about an hour ago. <laughs> no. I was very alarmed to be woken up by, by my your alarm. alarm. Also, fun fact, exactly three years ago, right now, we were at our wedding reception. <laughs> Technically, our anniversary in Thailand was yesterday, mm -hmm. but right now is our anniversary in Florida when we got married. And we're kind of considering today to be the celebration of our anniversary because this is the day we're most excited for. <laughs> what could be better than seeing elephants on your anniversary? That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, Jill from the future here, and I wanted to take a second to talk about why choosing the right kind of elephant sanctuary for your visit is super important. There are tons of elephant sanctuaries throughout Thailand, and all of them say that they are ethical, which makes it really difficult to know which ones actually are. So after hours of research, yes, hours, I finally decided to look up which practices are ethical and which are not. From this I discovered that most experts are saying that having a bunch of tourists come in and hand feed and bathe the elephants is not ethical because this is not something the elephants would have to do every day if they were out living in the wild. Now we are not condemning anyone who participates in these kinds of experiences or the organizations that provide them. This topic is constantly evolving and it can be really hard to understand what's okay and what's not. But after reading about this ourselves we knew that the only the only type of experience we could feel good about was a 100% hands-off one. Now that might not sound as exciting to some as feeding and bathing the elephants, but knowing that these elephants are happy and free to just live their lives the way they want to makes it so worth it. Okay, back to the video. Some of this trip with these windy mountain roads makes me feel like we're just driving through the mountains in North Carolina, except there's elephants out here. We're getting up super high into the mountains now. I actually was not expecting this. We got out of the van and immediately started walking somewhere, so I think elephants are coming soon. <laughs> it's chilly out here. <laughs> it's chilly. But it's kind of nice. I'm loving this hike. It's a good jungle. So excited. I think I might have seen an elephant once when I was a kid at a zoo in the US. I actually don't even know if I made that up or not. I was so little, so I've basically never seen one before. That's a big old turd. <laughs> love that we have to like actually hike out into the mountains to find the elephants somewhere instead of just like walking up to a pen at the zoo. It's so much better for them and it's fun. It's like a scavenger hunt for a giant <laughs> We're creature. For something enormous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean we haven't seen one so far. They're pretty good at hiding I think. <laughs> <Stay surprised. laughs> it's a little slippery here. If you fall you land in poop. He just told us all to stop and now he's wandering off in the woods somewhere by himself. What does it mean? Must have been a fossil room. Apparently elephants eat for 16 hours a day, so they're constantly roaming the mountain looking for food. He's munching on seeds. <laughs> Oh, 
look how big the speech is. How is it even that big? Oh my goodness. <laughs> she just makes her own path through the mountain. Oh, big booty. She just broke a whole tree over there. I can tell they eat for 16 hours a day because she's completely unbothered by us being here. And it's just looking for the tastiest trees to eat. I'm so cool. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Right? Oh my gosh. She got so close to us. We had like the best fun. I know. She started walking like right at us. It was so cool. I've never been next to an animal like that big before. She was wrinkly too. That elephant was May too. She's 40 years old. And all of the elephants here came from less good pasts. Mm -hmm. And now they get to just be free in the wild. We're off to find the next elephant. Don't eat it right here. Okay. <laughs> I won't eat it. So there are four different elephants here, but our guide told us that one of them is sick. Hopefully we can find the other two. It feels like we are fully in the mountain jungle right now. More elephant poop. We found the next one. This one's name is Mei Yulong, which means beautiful lady. last two elephants that we saw started walking together along the mountain and now our entire tour group and like three other groups are just like following the elephants. I feel like we're in a parade. <laughs> An elephant parade. Bye elephants. I love you. Apparently the elephants love to eat sugarcane, but they can actually get diabetes. So occasionally they trade out the sugarcane with some pumpkin and they're not very happy about it. For lunch, we've got a vegetarian buffet, just like the Ellie's. Two of the elephants here are mother and daughter, and they both used to work as taxi elephants in Chiang Mai, and they didn't get to see each other that much, which was really sad. But now that they're here at this elephant sanctuary, they get to spend all their time together, and that's just so cute and heartwarming. I'm so glad that they're both here. The mom elephant is the one that is sick today, so I really hope that she gets better soon. Now that we've had our lunch, it's time to make the elephants a tasty snack of bananas and sugar cane. I can actually do this. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. Don't kill anyone now. Nice. Thanks. Putting all the sugar cane into the holes of this feeding trough, whatever you want to call it. And the elephants are going to come and eat it. Here they come running down the hill for their treat. They have good taste. I love the way that they flap their ears. It reminds me of a dog wagging its tail. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but the noises coming from this elephant's mouth are so funny while she's eating. It's like this weird suctioning, crunching, munching sound. for the last sugar cane. Who will win? That guy's done. Bye! I'll miss you. I love you. 
<sighs> this is such a cool place. I would love to stay here longer, take care of the elephants more, make them more little snacks. They're so cool. I like making them snacks. They're still going. It's been like 30 minutes. <laughs> They're still eating all the bananas and sugar cane. They're really slow eaters. I guess you gotta pace yourself when you eat 300 kilograms of food a day. I'm so glad that places like this exist and like more and more sanctuaries are like focusing on actually being ethical. I like that it doesn't feel like a zoo. That's pretty much the only way I've seen most wild animals so far in my life has been like in a zoo in the US. It's just nice to see them in like a natural habitat. Mm -hmm. They're playing with dirt down there now. That was so fun. <laughs> that was so cool. I love elephants. If you had told me three years ago on our wedding day that we would spend our third anniversary climbing around in the jungle looking for elephants, I probably would have believed you. <laughs> would or would it? I would. Sounds like something we would do. We're walking back up now, and the biggest elephant is still down there searching for sugar cane. been traveling for about three weeks now. My body is still getting used to walking more than 5,000 steps a day. I know that's pretty sad, but I used to just sit on a computer all day, so I still gotta get used to this. <sighs> <laughs> this might sound a little silly as we're literally getting to travel the whole world right now, but after three weeks of non-stop travel and work, there is nothing either of us wanted to do more on our anniversary than sit in bed with some takeout and watch TV. So that's what we're doing tonight. We've got good old modern family queued up and we're eating two of our favorite meals that we've had in Thailand so far, but we have not actually gotten a chance to show them on camera yet. We tried both of them for the first time in Koh Lanta, and for me at least, I don't think anything else has compared so far. No, it's my favorite things. Both Absolutely. of our favorite things. <laughs> first we got khao soy. Basically a curry, but it's more specific to the north of Thailand. It's got some noodles on the bottom that are soft, and it's got crispy noodles on top, and the flavor is just like so good. I don't know how to describe it. It has a little more of like a savory flavor to it. It has a strong flavor, but it's just a really, really comfortable flavor. Mm -hmm. It's becoming like a comfort food for me. Like a warm delicious soup. Yeah, but with noodles. Yeah, crunchy noodles. Oh, it's so good. And then some beautiful red duck curry. You literally can't go wrong. I oh mean, my gosh. it's so good. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Pineapple, tomato, basil, duck, duck. Anyway, if you guys come to Chiang Mai, seeing the elephants is a must-do activity. Mm -hmm. You cannot miss it. Just make sure to pick an ethical tour where the elephants are treated as well as possible. And thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. Stay, Stay wiggity! wiggity.